here, he said on Sunday morning before he went for his service, he was watching the live service and he, he just slept off just sharply. And he had an encounter at that moment where he was in church and before you and you pointed, that man, a rope is tied on his leg. Lose that rope immediately and he was manifesting there and also you declared that the rope, they have loosened the rope. While in the service this morning, at the shout of glory, he said he fell under power and he saw somebody losing the ropes on his leg. His encounter started since Sunday. Since this is Sunday. The, what is happening today is drastic deliverance. Everyone whose life has been tied, they tied you from getting married. They tied your marriage. They tied you from getting, giving birth to your children. They tied your hands, tied your feet, and tied your resources. I command you, be loose right now. Be loose right now. Every chain and every yoke and every bondage and every rope they have used to tie you in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want you to scream break every yoke chain and whatever they've used to tie you in to tie you in the name of Jesus one two three break break in Jesus precious name please be seated sir this is sister rufina she came all the way from adamawa state since february she was diagnosed having liver cirrhosis she told me she had had the condition for very long have had dialysis several times and with associated pains all over her body she said as we shouted glory the pains disappeared now she can't feel it anymore liver yes i was actually meant to the <laughs> symptoms have gone that was my number one list of words for today liver healed congratulations congratulations the lord revealed it and he has healed her even without the release of the revelation <laughs> yes bernard agida he came here with an arrow fired into his left chest and um, he couldn't lift up the hand that left hand for over one week now as we shouted glory he said the hand is loose he can lift up that hand now and then the pain is every gone. arrow that is fired in your direction is returning back to sender it's returning back to sender somebody shout the loudest amen yes sir this brother wale ayeni uh, he's from a polygamous home and then from his mother's house mother's side there are eight between 214 and 219 four have died and one running mad so at the shout of glory today um his eyes opened he saw a, a wild wind that carried him and where the wild wind landed him he saw a woman standing before a grave the woman was about to receive him and put him into the grave but suddenly, the woman fell into the grave. That's right. If the grave is good, the person who wants to receive you to the grave shall enter inside. Four children out of eight died. One ran mad. So only three are normal. He is now. Only three. Four dead. One mad. Three left, including him. Yes. And then they want to put him into the grave next. And then the wild wind carried him to see what was happening. And the woman was trying to receive him and put him in the grave. And the wind pushed the woman into the grave. Every grave they have dug for you or your family members. Those who dug the grave shall enter the grave. The wild wind shall push them into the grave. Somebody shout, Pow! Jam! Freedom for you and your family and your loved ones in jesus name take your seat this is the kind of god i like to serve hallelujah sir this is brother oshena woke up last monday with a locked arm tried to lift it up he couldn't with pains he came here like that this morning and then to his surprise he said the hand just went up after the shout of glory aye, aye, without aye, pains aye. that's another one that was yet to be mentioned lift up your hand incredible god incredible god everything the enemy locked in your life today is unlocked in jesus precious name sir this is mrs grace 
She has been having nightmares. Sister, okay, Grace. Sister Grace. She has been having nightmares since she gave her life to Christ. But last Sunday she was in the church. The power of God hit her and saw it through her. Since then, said she couldn't see with the eye clearly before that three blocks of water, according to her, came out of her eye. Now she couldn't write with, with the eye before. Now she could write. She has been receiving songs. She has been writing songs with the lyrics and the sound. So all manner of things has started happening in her life. There is now joy of salvation in her life. Congratulations. Lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, help from above. In Jesus' name. This is Mama Fonja. She says since 2006, she has had arthritis that requires her to take injections every night. That someone prayed for her here yesterday and noticed how she was struggling to walk. Came into the service in that condition. And while we shouted glory, the power of God surged through her. She's able to move freely now. Arthritis gone back to hell. Lock shoulders also for about a month. And while that power went through her, shoulders became unlocked. And she's able to lift up those hands all to the glory of Give God. Give the Lord a praise. Come forward here. Omewoya, Jehovah Nisi, Omewoya, Alpha and Omega, Omewoya, Omereya, Nogeya. Everybody sing it now. Omereya, 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 Nogeya, Omewoya, Jehovah Nisi, Omewoya. Sister Valentina has been married for seven years without a child. While we shouted glory today, her eyes got opened in the realm of the spirit. She said she saw like a kingdom of darkness being scattered by the power of God. And a voice told her, I told you I will visit you. And we believe that that visitation Valentina, is for God. Come. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Is your husband here? It's in US. Lift your hands. Are you at All right, stand up. She's feeling the sensation right here now. Um, okay. Husband is in US. She is here. flashes in my stomach my body will become hot and he now said he can his palm is inadequate but when we shouted jesus i saw like people gathering and as in i saw like fire up and it was just scattering as in they were just scattered everywhere right. and i heard jesus something say, said i said i was going to heal you and i told you i was going to visit be free every demonic gang up against you in the realm of the spirit Today, they scatter. They scatter. They scatter. They scatter. Shout the loudest. Amen. Sir, this is Oliver Ayer. He said he noticed from last year, October 2019, everything about him was not working. Things started nose diving according to him he said whenever something good wants to come he sees dead people dead relative the moment he encountered with them the dream of the night everything was spoiled and that continued to today in the course of the ministration god opened his eyes took him to his father's house and saw the same people confronting him and immediately he saw a massive envelope in their hands he wanted to run away he now heard you from behind Go back, confront them, and take that envelope from their hands. And immediately he collected the envelope. When I inquired more, he said, Presently, he's expecting money. I don't believe that. That's right. That encounter. The ego has come. <laughs> Stretch your two hands. Devil is a bastard liar. You won't run from what is yours. You won't run from what is yours. 
for everyone seated here anything that is yours wherever the devil tied it it is untied now take it what is yours receive it now in jesus name yes sir our sister gift here came here this morning with what looks like the transfer of the spirit of death he said two weeks ago he had an attack where he saw a dead person appear to him i'm sorry sir to her and then brought her head and put his own head on her head that was just what load and she woke oh, up the dead person carried a load on her head and put it on her head on her head Remove the load from the dead person's head, put it on her head, and then she woke up three days later, sir. She said she started feeling like um, some, they, are, they are boiling something on her head, hot, cold, hot sensation. With that movement, the pain was so excruciating for that two weeks has lasted until today. While we shouted glory, she fell under the anointing, and then something left her head. Right now, she's whole. That pain is gone. Every luggage, arrow, death of whatever sort they have sent your way is returning now. Somebody say every every evil load return back to sender on your marks. Get set. Shall go. Sir, amazing. Our brother said in the dream of the night last month, he saw so, and there was like a knock on his door. And he was about to open the door. He saw a man dressed on black, turned his back and on him. As he opened the door on the threshold, the man took hold of his manhood and began to contest with it. In shock, he fought with the man and released himself. Instantly, sir, saw pain on his manhood. He's gone to the hospital. They've done all manner of tests. They couldn't diagnose anything. The drugs they gave him increased the pain. Go ahead. Increased the pain. But at the shout of glory, sir, something just left his manhood. I sent him to the general. I said, go and check. Is the pulse still there? So he has gone. The pulse has dried up. And no more pain. Instantly. He's dreamt in the night where he saw a man wearing black, dressed in black, squeezing and contesting with his manhood. And they struggled. He woke up. The next thing is ulcer on the manhood, pain and Pause. Hospital could not help.
I am going to nevertheless mention what the Lord showed me before I came up to the altar here. The healing of a liver condition. Somebody already came out, but in case you're also here, liver condition. Diagnosis with a pain right under the rib, especially towards the right hand side with a diagnosis of hepatitis or chronic liver disease. God healed you already. Somebody with kidney issue, whether it's kidney stone or pyelonephritis, nephrotic syndrome, nephritis, whatever it is, kidney disease, also healed. Somebody with lower back condition has been healed as well. Whether you have a gadoloid or not, lower back disease, gone. Cancers just got destroyed. You came here with the pain of the cancer, the pain of the tumor. You came here even with the growth, the swelling. Already the woman with the cancer that, that was said to have cancer of the, of the liver is healed. I now curse every breast cancer. I curse every ovarian cancer, uterine cancer. Yes! Every prostatic cancer, lung cancer, brain tumor, whatever is your name, I curse you to your roots. I command you to disappear right now. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost to roast the cancer now. In the name of Jesus, you are healed. So shall it be. Check yourself, confirm the healing of the cancer and the healing of the growth. Lower abdominal condition healed. Somebody with a right hip condition, right hip healed. Itchy condition all over the body healed. Then the growth in, in the private part that I was that they just showed growth lump in the anal and private area. God also healed it. Right shoulder that is locked healed. Deaf ear healed. Arrow in the chest also healed. So confirm all the healing that have just been mentioned. And if you confirm one of your ears, could you hear or two? Check it right now. It is hearing. And everyone who came in here with inability to move or to walk the power of god is upon you right now everyone with a walking stick or a crutch or a cane or a, on a wheelchair lift up your stick lift up your crutch lift up your cane because you're about to walk right now you can actually stand up and then get set to walk father thank you thank you you couldn't lift the hand lift it right now blessed be your name honor to your name i pray for you today i take authority over the spirit of paralysis I take authority over every crippling condition. The spirit of deformity. That's right. Somebody with a sickle cell anemia is also healed right now. The spirit of deformity. The spirit of paralysis. Your yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus. I command a broken bone to be mended. Paralyzed leg to be healed. I command the pain to go. I command the pain to go. I command the pain to go. I command the leg to walk in jesus name wherever you are move your leg up and down like i am doing right now move it up and down like i am doing right now move it up and down like i am doing right now one leg up the other down up down up down up down up down faster up and down up and down now if you're able to do that with your stick lifted up you can rush to the front you are able to move the leg up and down in a standing position with your leg with your stick lifted up you can step forward right here and if you are sitting on the wheelchair stand up from that wheelchair and walk right there you are able to lift up your leg lift the stick up and come forward i saw some people who came out for the altar call check yourself right now lift up the stick move the leg up and down and you confirm that the leg is moving up and down you come forward with the stick lifted let's celebrate the king of kings That you gave the word that God was healing uh, people with kidney disease. This is Mrs. Ifoma Dike. She said one year ago she was diagnosed to have kidney problem and had taken seven sessions of dialysis. This morning somebody had to help her to hold her. She couldn't walk because of pains on both legs. Assisted her to come in and she said when you mentioned that word the strength of the Lord came upon her. She stood and walked Brand new kidneys. Brand new. Come over here. Brand new kidneys are released for you. Brand new kidneys. Yes, our sister here says she stepped on charm in January. 
and that left her with a terrible itching condition. Once she starts, she will itch until the body starts peeling. You, you look at the leg all swollen. That, that was the condition. Came. Really? Yes, sir. Came in that condition. Terrible itching. Ah, yes, it, it was mentioned. I, I, as soon as that word was mentioned, you said, God. I said, God, don't forsake a pregnant woman. You just called it. You said, God. I said, God, please don't forsake a pregnant woman. You just called my issue. Oh, God, please don't forsake a pregnant woman. And I just called her issue of the itchy condition of the body. And right now it has ceased. It returns back to, to the person who sent it. Amen. If itching is good, let the person enjoy it. Congratulations. You have stomach, pregnancy, and you are itching. How do you cope with both? She doesn't sleep in the night, throughout the night. That devil is a pastor. Everything that has made your life miserable is returned back to hell. Everything that is making your life miserable is returned back to hell. In Jesus' precious name, give the Lord the praise. Can we take one or two more and then call it a day? So you, you talked about God healing people of liver condition and then hepatitis. She was diagnosed of hepatitis in 2018. And that have affected her severely in so many things that she was looking for. Came in that condition, excruciating pain around the, the lower abdomen here. As soon as that word was mentioned, she said the pain took off. Right now she can't feel it. Go and check yourself. Hepatitis is gone. Be healed in Jesus' name. Mama had an accident over five years ago that uh, fractured her skull, had internal bleeding. She fractured her left hand and um, it also affected her bladder. Currently, she's wearing um, an adult diaper oh, really? uh, because of urinary incontinence. Oh. Was, was assisted into the service by her daughter. Couldn't stand or walk by herself unaided. At home, they have, um, they have a potty that... Um, they keep by her side to assist her to ease herself whenever she was pressured. The moment she came into the service this morning, she told her daughter that she was feeling this fiery sensation all over her body, um, but was still sitting down. While you were giving those declarations, sir, she, she woke up from where she was sitting and stood up and told her daughter that she was whole and began to walk all the way from the, from the back to the front. Now the urinary incontinence is arrested and mama is able to walk by herself unaided to the glory of God. The incontinence is arrested? It's arrested. Incredible. It's arrested. And she's standing by herself, by herself. and walking by herself. Walking mama, by herself. come. Incredible. Hasn't done this for almost five years. Almost five years. And the left hand also that she couldn't She lift. couldn't walk at all for five years. The left hand also is, is going on. Mama, mama, walk on. Effortless. Couldn't walk at all for five years. And you are just sitting and looking like that. A person who could not walk at all for five years. Cancers have been healed. The urinary incontinence is gone. She couldn't walk at all for five years. Fractured the base of skull intracranial bleeding the hospital rejected her from what we just heard this hand was broken too that, she, that she's dead already when the accident happened they took us to several places and they said she was dead already yes, but, when my, but when my brother came he said no my mom cannot die she's alive and this hand was broken too. Yeah, it was it, fractured. Fractured. Yes. Yeah, that's broken. Yes. And it couldn't lift. Lift it up. Jehovah, we gave it you was, all the It was fractured. Yes, Incredible. Some eh? You can even feel a bone before. You can feel something here shoot out. Within the before, hand. something yes. here used to shoot out. Yes. And everything seemed perfect to me right now. Mama lift it up again. Are you just looking like that, people? So Celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords.
that is a situation you came here with today is living with you as a testimony. Somebody find out from this mama what happened. This mother. What happened? There's fire burning here. Sir. That's right. Fire is burning here. Hola. Sir, bro, Uzo, three months ago, fought with somebody in the dream of the night, which resulted into the swollings of the leg. The legs were too were so swollen and they went to the hospital and it was the diagnosed that he had infection of the kidney and which the waist pains he couldn't walk could not stand couldn't have been standing like this before while they came into the service today the first thing god did was that the um it, there was the so the leg I, I think busted that, i think the fire of the holy ghost went forth and the edema, the bilateral pitting pedal edema. The swelling legs. of the leg that if you put your hand, it sinks as if. That extracellular fluid or whatever, it just, the, the, the fire just had to burst it and out the of the leg. And, and, the, and the swelling burst and then the fluid is coming the out of the leg is like coming this. coming out. And it, it dematos fluid coming out ay, as ay, if it ay, were ay, a saw or a boil that busted. Where is the picture? That's this is the picture. picture. This, this was how. How it was. Yes. Man. Wait, ahead, see as, this one. This is it. She said, the wife said, as at last night. As, as at last night, the thing was like this. This is on Sunday. Last night, when we came from Umwahia. They came in from Umwahia. Umwahia, they came. So a minister saw how down he was outside. And he came to pray for him, anointed him, and said that God was going to locate us today. So when we get to where we slept last night, the thing was just as if it was burnt, like hot water. And since this morning, the thing has been dropping water. And before now, we are supposed to go for another dialysis because they say we should go for dialysis. So now the thing is coming by itself. I don't know. The pain he, he, he had in the loins. He's strong and he's standing by himself. The, As of the, Sunday morning, he was very weak. Even I had to force him to come to with us one. to Abuja yesterday. See this one. There was no strength at all. I'm even surprised he's standing up like this. So he said he can run now. That's how swollen the leg was. This is just to me, it's worse than just a kidney infection. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a satanic, it's a satanic witchcraft arrow. arrow. Can you and, and you are strong now. He said he couldn't he said he stand like run. this. He couldn't stand. But go to the altar there. Just walk there. Really? You've been faithful, Lord. From the ages past, that is why your name is forever. Life, life, life. Life, brand new kidneys, and this arrow returns back to senders. So I listen to what the pastor says. He's just mentioned to me that he feels like urinating. He wants to urinate yes. by himself now. now himself. He wants to the urinate. kidneys failed. They had to do dialysis, which means the machine had to urinate for him. Yeah. Now he wants to urinate by himself. He's asking for so where the restroom is. Let him be. Let him be released to go and urinate by himself. And then somebody should 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 um, observe the concentration of the urine. When it's end stage kidney failure, it, 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 it looks like coke. But if it is if it if it is clear, then you let us know. Give the Lord a big clap of hand, a shout of praise. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. What a mighty, 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 mighty God we serve. What a full God we serve. Take him to the restroom. There is a side restroom right here, nearby here, near the offices here. Just take him there. Let him go and confirm the perfection of the kidneys. What a mighty God we serve. They are showing how you came. ICT, they said you are showing how you came. Wow. Give the Lord the praise. Sir, God is doing mighty works here and wonders. This is Joshua Ungomot from Plateau State. He had an accident with uh, a trailer six years ago. 
and he became unconscious for one month. When he regained his consciousness, he couldn't hear with the left ear for six solid years. While we shouted glory, he said, I can hear. And right now, the left ear is hearing right now for the fourth time in six years. Somebody give the Lord a praise. Close this ear. This is the kind of God I want to serve. Action, 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 action. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I am healed. I can hear you. I am blessed. Are you just yes, looking so like that? Deaf ear open. For how long? 50, so, 50 something years. 50 something years. Yes. Which one? He said he could not hear with this at all. And with this, he could fa faintly hear things. For but now he's able to hear with this and even that. 50 something years. How old are you totally? I'm 50. This year so, will be 58. So since birth, since childhood. Since childhood, are you said chicken fed that will be putting in my ear. And then it, it, it blocked yeah, the I ear. I went to the hospital. They said uh, my ear drum is rusted. That's why I'm not hearing. So one ear is completely deaf, the other one partially. And both are open clear. Come over here. from your childhood today it has expired today it has expired everything that followed you from the womb of your mother today is the end of it forever stand her up anything I say say give her the mic amen amen hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Amen. So Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a big clap for 50 something years. He went and passed normal urine, normal color, normal urine. It's not concentrated. Not like normal. Coke. Normal. 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 And, and it passed for long. Normal. Vo Wife is under power. It happened like that before. It, it passed for long. Short. It comes very short. But this one was long. Normal stream. Normal. Continue normal color. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Hey! 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 hey. has damaged in your life whatever the devil has damaged in your life I announce restoration now hey. take your seat incredible sir sir this is Mrs. Monica Ejimbi. she got married 10 years ago and after 4 years trusting God for the fruit of the womb and she said the woman appeared to her and said you will regret this marriage you will never have turning stick in your house she took in she will never have turning stick turning stick yes sir Honor. in her home she took in after delivery the child died took in again that one went took in for the third one they lost three children in rapid succession she said she now made up her mind no more childbearing. She was in that dilemma since in, in the year 2018 you now appeared to her and said daughter fear not. Get pregnant. This one must remain. 
That was in the year, uh, December 2018. By January, God visited her. She took him, and this is the child. She said, for four days now, baby has been not, unable to breastfeed to eat. And right now, baby has sucked twice, and baby is under pressure to recover. That's right. Yes, sir. Baby, for four days? Four days. The baby has been fasting. Yes, sir. Now he has broken the fast. Yes, sir. This, <laughs> this the Lord a praise. Everything the devil say you should not do, it shall be done. Baby is the Muslim, is the one I want to pray for. Baby. Devil looking for your trouble. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The embargo is lifted and you bring forth more of your children. In Jesus' name. Are we true? Yes, sir. This is faith of Simeon. Praise Simeon. Is that the mother? Okay. Yes, sir. In 2013, um, then she was seven months old and then um, the mother was traveling to Ogomosha to attend the wedding. While on their way, they had an accident. The mother went unconscious, and the baby too was on oxygen for one month. By the time she was discharged from the hospital, um, she, um, she could not speak. From that time till the time you prayed for her. And then while at the from shout that of... that time till... Till the time we shouted glory. Yes. Yes, sir. So by the time we shouted glory, she said to the auntie, Mama... For the first time. Wow. Accident made her to stay on oxygen for one month. Yes, sir. You see that, that the respiratory system was gone? Or the perfusion from the heart wasn't enough? Or the oxygen was not going to the brain? So they needed oxygen for one full month. Yes, sir came out of there and couldn't speak. Yes, sir. That is at seven months. Yes, sir. And she's how old now? She'll be ten months in October. Seven months in October. So she... seven, seven years seven. in October. Seven years in October. Mm -hmm. And this accident happened at seven months. Seven months. And so she has that is no speaking from birth. Yes. That's 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 that, that's because a seven seven month child wouldn't be talking to anybody. That is, that is, that is, uh, that is, has never spoken. He may have blabbered that as a baby, but talking intelligently has never been since birth. Right? Yes, and now she is calling her auntie, mama. We tested yes. her and she spoke. Baby, how are you? Say, Jesus. Amen. 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 Say one. Say mama. Mama. Good. Mama. mama. Good. Papa. Good. Baby. Baby. Amen. 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 <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. 